Hello! Welcome to your first lesson. Today we're going to be working on the ABCs. First, I'm going to run through the whole alphabet. Then, I'm going to go back and I'll discuss each hand shape so you can see. A. A. B. B. C. C. D. D. E. E. F. F. G. G. H. H. I. I. J. J. K. K. L. L. M. M. O. O. P. P. Q. Q. R. R. S. S. T. T. U. U. V. V. W. W. X. X. Y. Y. Z. Z. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. Now I know my ABCs. Next time won't you sing with me? Okay, let's talk about how to make these letters. A, notice that the thumb is on the side. The fronts of the fingers are flat. You can put it down like this. That's the same. It's fine. B, it's based on the cursive B. So if you turn it sideways, you can see the cursive B, but it's a thumb across the palm and all four fingers up together and we try to keep it straight. Notice the palm faces who you're signing to, not yourself. 
C. It looks like a C. D. Now this looks like a D. It doesn't matter which hand you do it with. It's still a D. Make sure if you do a flat D that you can still see light through it. Don't close your fist. That's a one. E. Fingernails. The thumb is across the palm. Some people do it like this. It's easier on carpal tunnel. E. It comes, if you look, you can see where you draw the line across and it comes around. That's the hook at the bottom of the E. F. This is based on the cursive F. G. G tricks new students. So pay attention. <laughs> you have your thumb and your forefinger. Like you're going to pinch something. But don't. Leave the gap. Turn it so you're pointing across your body. And the back of the finger is facing out. G. Notice you can see the thumb. So don't, that's why it's got to be there. Otherwise, you're just pointing. <laughs> H. It's just two fingers turned sideways, pointing across your body. It can go either way. It's not wrong. I. That's for the little stick of the eye. If you put a point up there, you can, you can see the eye. Eye. It's just your pinky finger. Make sure your palm is facing your signer. J. It's an eye with a tail, so we draw that. You start with your pinky facing who you're signing. Twist and up. And you end with your pinky back facing the signer. This is an I. This is how a J ends. J. Jack. J. K. Take a V. Take the middle finger and pull it forward. So you can stick your thumb up like a puppet show. K. If you look, it looks like a K. There's the stick down. There's a little guy coming in, and there's the leg coming out. K. L. It's an L. M. You'll see it like this, where they show you the backs of the three fingers. You can see it like this, where they fold the three fingers down, and you're looking for a pig in a blanket. Or you can stick it out. This is better for carpal tunnel, so you'll see these a lot. And this is where the three fingers stick out. But all of these are M. And you can see the M. It's for the three legs of the letter M. N. Same as M, just with two fingers, because N only has one hump when an M has two. It's two fingers folded over your thumb. Don't forget the little piggy over here. You can stick it out, you can turn it down, or you can fold it over. All of them are correct. O. It's an O. It's also the number zero. There is no difference. P. Take a K, remember that's a V, where we put the middle finger forward and stick our thumb up. Reminder with a K, it's your thumb that faces your signer. In a P, 
It's the back of the first finger that faces the signer. Some people, you'll see it like this, like captain. Notice where the P fell? I'll sign it again. See, it's not quite forward. Again, that thumb wants to face the signer. Both ways are correct. You can do it like this. Or you can do it like this. Doesn't matter. As long as it's a K in the downward position. Q. Look familiar? It's a G. That's right. Take a G and point it down. With a Q, the back of the finger faces the signer. Q. R. This is based off of a cursive R. It comes up the side, over the top, down, and out. It's the old-fashioned cursive R. I know now I just make a hump and go, but this is the cursive R. Up, over, down, around. Can you guys see that? S. It's like an A, but with the thumb across the front. S. T. Notice it looks familiar. M has three sticks coming down and two humps. N has two sticks coming down and one hump. T are little piggies at the end. There are no humps. But we have the stick, and the little piggy makes the cross on the stick. T. U. U. It's two fingers put together, and it's the palm side of the fingers that faces the signer. V. It's two fingers spread apart, and it looks like a V. Notice that the palm side of the fingers are facing the signer. This is the number two, not a letter. This is a V. W. Boom, 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 boom. It makes a W. The W, notice that the pinky finger is tucked behind the thumb and that the palm side uh, is facing the signer. This is the number six. Notice how the pads of the fingers are touching? The pinky is not tucked behind. Tucked behind is a W. This also can never be the number three, not even this way. The number three is always done with the thumb out because that's how the French count and ASL is based on French, not English. W. X. <clears throat> X. If you look in cursive, X is a hump drawn down. It's an X that isn't crossed. If I cross it, maybe it'll look like a cursive X. But I hope you can see the hump and swoop of the cursive X. When signed, we face it out or to the side. U, V, W, X, Y, Z. It doesn't matter which way that one is facing. It's always X. Why? Boom, boom. Can you see my why? And why is always signed palm out. Why is always signed palm out. Z. We draw Z. Boom, boom, boom. Just like the letter. Boom, boom, boom. Now, is two Y's facing in, pulling down. I, you point to yourself. No. Lean forward a little. No. Like you're falling on the knowledge. Now, I, no. My flat hand, A, 
B C's frown. Next, you're taking two hands, put like this, you know, put them together so they touch. And you're gonna take the back hand and move it to the front. Next. Now I know my notice I stand back up for my A B C. Next time, won't you sing with me? Let me walk you through that part. <laughs> Next time, we're tapping a clock. Next time, frown. Will you? It's a flat hand and it moves forward. Sing. You're holding the con you're holding the music like a choir person, and this is the conductor conducting the music. So next time, won't you sing? And notice I came back on sing and leaned forward on won't you. Next time. Won't you sing with, take your two A hands, stick your thumbs out, because those are the peoples, and put them together with. <laughs> Next time, won't you sing with me? And the eyebrows go back up. And that's a question. So we're going to take an X and open and close it to put a question mark as we lean forward because we're asking you. Now I know my ABCs. Next time, won't you sing with me? Okay. All together. Ready? A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. Now I know my ABCs. Ne next time, won't you sing with me? <laughs> See you next lesson.